I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap your crew. Being solidly held, no openings to flip side whatsoever, and I think just holding angles for them to engage. But it's about to come in this big push onto the A bomb site. Flip side have a lurker towards the B site, but he's not going to come into play just yet. And he's going to open things up here. Defensive shot onto Simple. And now they're probably going to know what's going on. Another great shot there from Ali, dropping Blade. Going to go up the top for another one. Takes down Bondic and four frags in quick succession from Ali. Oh, and Ali's going to pull off. The ace. What? what a fantastic. As long as Titans stay cool, they're going to be fine. What a sick shot. And oh my god, JW, he gets the second one. He's looking for the ace. He's got just seven bullets and he's going to go for it in the corner. Now it's a one on one. He misses that shot. There's 25 seconds left and he's got six health. And he's going to go with a C set. Sprays here. Existent trapped in the corner. Now 20 seconds. What? They get the ace. Are you kidding? Oh my god, fanatic. They win that round. Get out, JW. Wake up. Yes, to more safely take some of these angles and these peaks. Be able to clear the group up there as well. Spam shots so they can get out of the boiler as well. 
similar ethos here in that they still have banana control. So the option to go back is still there, but it doesn't look like they're going to go for that. They are rotating their banana player all the way back for this push into the A site. Phineas looking for the shot here. It's going to be Adi who gets existence down though. Pick up the bomb and push through. Apex goes down as well. Kenny has with no armor. Running straight onto the site. Can he get to safety? He manages to get out of these close position. Picks up the frag onto Alu. Second shot. Is causing. Oh my goodness, so much damage done here by Kenny S. Another frag found. And again, Kenny S. Four kills in a row. And there it is. 16-14. Wow. Let's see the setup now. I mean, what do Fnatic decide to go for here in the 15th round? Titan, two rounds to their name. They definitely need more. They desperately need this last round here. So if ever they had some kind of pocket play, now's the time. This is your time to shine at distance. What is going to be the call? Well, Apex trying to play at the edge of the smoke. So right now, entry for Echo 2 would go a long way for them. JW is going to win that duel versus Apex, so there's the initial frag going Fnatic's way yet again. Pronax going to warm it up in there. RPK, you going to have room? He has to bail. He has to run. The Maniac once again opening things up on that B site. Catches Flush out, and he's going to be communicating that to his teammates. Kenny has found Pronax as well. Two very swift frags here for Titan to create some options. Oh no, he jumped on his face. He thought that was a box, but that was actually all of Weiss's helmet he was standing on. Almost a little bit ridiculous. The bomb is making its way in and they will find JW in there. So for the second time, the raid boss has fallen and it's going to be down to all of the Grimms to try and see if they can make life really miserable for Titan here. It's a 2v2 now. Maniac goes down in the middle. It's a 2v1. Kenny, now is your moment to shine. He's got the double kill already. What a flick on all of my stuff. Absolute inhuman reactions, and it's going to be down to Crims to try and see if he can stop Kenny. But you can tell that Kenny is hyper focused at this point. He stays scope, walking around the box. He misses the flick one more time. He's got another chance in here, and Crims is almost out of time. And Kenny, no scope to the leg, pistols there. What a quad kill from Kenny! Twelve to three. It might not be quite enough, but that's one hell of a clutch for him.